Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 30 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. We're slowly starting to get near the end of this now. I know up here we've only got 53% on our Awakening level, but we've now got access to the big boss battle against Epsilus Damakioth, the Heretic leader. Uh, we've also got access to these two boss battles and the final one. So we've got the option of playing through the rest of the little missions, trying to get as much blackstone and upgrades and extras as we can, we can start playing through some of these boss encounters. So if you've got any preferences, leave us some comments, let us know what you're after. In the meantime, we've got a little bit of blackstone here, so let's get in and get some upgrades. Well, upgrade, I think we're only going to get one in. What I'd like to do is get Leonardus upgraded here, so I think, yep, we can get our master refractor here which means our field generators are going to have a minus one for cooldown and give us an extra two defense, which is brilliant. Uh, it's also given us one extra augment slot. So, what should we go for? We've already got the better Coratio. We could either give him a slightly better axe, or we could give him a bigger cog stick. So I think we've got one that gives us three. Have we got one that gives us three? Oh, that's two. No, we haven't actually. I thought we did. Okay, well let's go for this then. Let's give him an upgraded Infestus Mechadendrite. So that's only dealing one damage. Oh, in fact, no, he's a healer. So let's give him Gratio to do some extra healing. I've only got 217 Blackstone left. That's not going to be enough to get an upgrade for anyone. Now, we're definitely going to do this one today. I think last episode I talked about it near the end and I definitely want to get this one done before our cohort gets any more powerful. So it looks like we're going to get a heavy grab cannon, a level 3 castle and robot, and obviously some blackstone. So this is blind spot. It says Epsilus Damakyov's lair has been located in a spot blinded to the ship's sensors deep in the engine area. Assault the blind spot and eliminate the arch heretic. Yep, yeah, let's go do it. So Epsilus Damakyov, tech priests, tech services. Let's get all of them in now. I think we'll do our usual. How did we get? Hmm. Um, I've tried a rust orca a couple of times. Yeah, let's go for a rust orca again. Yeah, I think your ultimatum definitely refused. Okay, the blind spot entrance is defended by a pair of heretic tech priests, one armed with a long range rad rifle and the other with a melee tech axe. There is opportunity only to eliminate one before the enemy is engaged. I think we'll go for the range one. I'm not even going to contemplate for the melee one. We'll be fine for melee. The guy with the ranged attack can get us on the way towards him. The, uh, the melee one we can't. The heretic is drawn into a shadowy area by the deployment of a lone servo skull and then eliminated with silence rad pistol shot through the base of the spine. 
Beautiful, lovely. Target killed. The engineering deck provides plenty of cover, but trying to utilize it might give the enemy the upper hand if the cohort spots it. Mm. Stealth Sicarians use the cover to approach for heretic position stealthily. Or swift Sicarians approach with speed and boldness, skewing cover for impact. Yeah, that's a good brash. Let's get in there. I said no sneaking around in our own ship. Damn straight. Fight! Is there a pretty fella? We didn't get any cognition through that process. We've got three here, three here, three here. So there's nine of cognition up for grabs. Tech priest there, tech priest, tech priest, tech priest, is that served to there? No, one tech priest. One tech priest is said, we're gonna have services here. Okay, well. I don't know why, but I feel like something goes up with zigzaggy. Let me space a couple of these out here. Just in case the guys have an area of attack right now. Yeah. What's nice is I think are all of these guys are all visible from beyond. Yeah, all of these guys are all visible. None of them have got the cheeky cloaking. The Coggle Glutaris. Okay, this is Minari straight in there. Well, let's get some cog points. Yeah, let's burn them a bit. We can um, make it a bit cheaper, though. He's dealing physical damage as well, so let's just get a little bit more on him. There's only one, but every one counts. Nice. Range on that guy there. Doesn't look like it. No. I don't want to be wasting my mission here, really. This guy up just a little bit because I want to stick the um, crack build generator on, making a little safe haven for everyone else. I can only collect one cog point, so we'll start working on that terminal there. I think another one of our guys can collect all of them from one source. Now he had, did he have energy? Only one energy armor. So let's give him a little shoot as well. Okay, 
Can you get all of them? Yeah, he's the other one that can get all of them. Let's get all these over here. Attack here and still getting the bubble. Let's see what we can poke out from first. A couple of snaky cog points. Keep them there. I think I'm going to keep this guy all sneaky and invisible. Last one, get that last cog point and deny the enemy of all of theirs. So we've got Oriopolis. You know what, I think I'm just going to slap him in there for some melee combat. Nice full cognition bar, that's what we like. Let's get one of these on the big man. Just see what his stats are. 62 HP. Wow, that's a fair bit. He hasn't got much armour. So it still bodes well for us. Shots around and bum rushing. Blessed Chrome, witness me. Oh, he's picking out services. in here. Why the hell not? Getting in the bubble. Kill Minaris first. Pretty sure I should be able to get all three of these guys. Yep. About a lot of you. I should probably also do this. Now come back, won't. Okay, I'm going to have to go for the servitor. If I go for the big guy, it's not going to knock any damage on. There you go, servitor's down. Let's just do this attack, get his armor knocked down, and I'll do a canticle attack later. I was thinking of putting a physical canticle on, but it's not going to do as much damage with that armor on him. Is that going to do anything? Yeah, I'll do two. So it's stripped him with all his armor now, about one shot. That's brilliant. We'll start peppering away his HP now. Delay his turn and hope that, in fact, Oriochus probably hasn't got. But I'll delay it just in case. I'm hoping that Oriochus has got his servo scan up and buff him. Servitor's not going to last long, is he? Get a little chop chop on him. Poke, poke first. Cool, keep him there. Oh, 
How is he down on health? He's only just deployed. That's quite interesting. I don't know if I missed something there. Can't move very far, can he? Oh my hell. So I can turn around, try and take out that guy. But I think I just wanna get in there against the big guy. Get him surrounded. Damage. A whole one, but it's better than nothing. Three packs more servitors. Circle before we go in the big guy. over there. Okay, he's good now. Kablammy. I've only got two permission there, which isn't much. He's got machine spirit charge, so let's... Get a little bit of counter collection on. Deal some super walking damage here. Hopefully. 16. Have that. There's extra two in. He's going to drop pretty soon. On a block, I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a bit too easy there. Um, okay, now he's got 100 HP. Interesting. I'll try and use that gun. That's going to get on my guys, isn't it? That's no, not. Doesn't damage that. That's pretty cool. Definitely that one. Let's get cognition points. He avoids all opportunity attack, so let's move him around to this angle. I can get the flamer out and hopefully get both of these two. Yeah, none of my guys are shooting. Cool. Uh, ooh, let's heal ourselves. It's a little low. anyone with him. Okay, let's move him into a position where he can shoot. And 
Let's go for that servitor. So it's going to start nibbling on you, seeing what annoying us. There we go. He's gone. Just get one mission. Okay. One's a bit of a numb. Okay. okay, I think we're just going to stay here actually. We've got a bubble on. Give a bit of protection for the troops. Beast of the gun. The waste they got in the vanguard. That was brilliant. It looked like that was going through enemies and everything. I would have gone through all my guys. Services a little bit. I don't want to waste the machine spirit on them, really, he's only got. Oh, I can't. He's only got 3 HP. Another unit gone. Thing on. Oh, okay, it's not worth trying to attack him anymore then. Let's see if we can still poke some cognition out of him. Yeah, can't close for that. Cool. Um, let's heal him as well, I think. Can he cleanse? No. Damage to his own boss man there. Not good for us. I feel 
generator. Should have put that on the full flamer, really. What a plunk, yeah. Back and away from this though, and hopefully now we can shoot him. Yes. Okay, so let's think about it. Let's get the energy enhancers on. I know that was overkill for this guy, but I'd rather gun as an energy weapon. We can shoot Epsilus with it. Oh, this might attack our get our guys though. It is it's gonna do a little bit of damage to them. Oh that's worth it. as well. That's good. Keep them there for now. Oh, that gun is evil. Tight spot here. He can't heal himself either. He's our last one to do. Keep him alive. Have like this and knock him back. There we go. Can get a shot on him now. Damage. There we go. Go on. No, it worked. I thought it. I thought it's his glow would stop that. Brilliant. He's gone. Awesome. 
Oh, set Chris down. I lost one. That's our first casualty for a while. Shot back. Do it. He's going down this round. I can feel it. He's only got 10 HP left. He'll do it. <laughs> oh, no reanimation from that fool. He was dead. Mission complete. The Arch Heretic, Epsilus Damakioff, finally collapses under the force of the Cohort's assault. The new sphere fills with data emotions of anguish and pain, and then falls utterly dark. The other heretics lie dead, and the rebellion on the Kestis Metallican is broken. The task of rooting out the final heretics can begin. Wunderbar. How is he talking? He's dead. Didn't do too good on this front here, did we? We lost one, unfortunately. Not that we lose them forever, but still. That's a lot of black stone we've wasted there. Black stone found, zero! Um, yeah, so, killed the big guy. We've got an extra gun and a level 3 robot. But we didn't get much black stone. We do have a new canticle, Prayer of Titanium. Plus nine energy armor for one round. So I guess that's something. But here we go. So this guy's got no more missions for us. We've done all the heretic stuff now. So, like I said earlier, it's either a case of whistling through all of these little missions to get them all done, or do we just start slaying some of the big ones? Let us know what you think, guys. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed that episode. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. 
leave us some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.